for late of five minutes. We are ready for this other appointment of Friday, uh, the last appointment of November. And so the case is uh, 26 years old, lady, uh, very thin with a body mass index of 20, uh, no previous surgery, uh, previous medical treatment with uh, Dynagest, with um, no good uh, results in terms of symptoms. Uh, she uh, has a dysmenorrhea, dyskepsia, and symptoms on the, on the bowel uh, related to uh, deep endometriosis infiltrating uh, all the posterior and lateral compartments. So, uh, like usually, we perform and imaging by ultrasound. And so this is the evaluation by ultrasound, uh, transvaginal and transabdominal ultrasound uh, that uh, show us uh, a situation of uh, diffuse adenomyosis of the uterus with sites of the uterus not so, not so big and uh, two endometriomas uh, on uh, both sides. Uh, not so big, small endometrioma, around uh, three centimeters uh, from uh, each part. So on the left, 31 millimeter, on the right, uh, 29 millimeter. Posterior compartment infiltration uh, show us uh, an, uh, uh, a plaque and nodule infiltrating the uh, retrocervical area the uh, both uterosacral ligaments uh, and uh, parametria. So the transversal sites of the nodule is around three centimeters. The right uterosacral ligaments uh, infiltration uh, extension of uh, 12 millimeter and uh, lateral parametrial infiltration with uh, a good distance from the ureter. So no, uh, no involvement, no dilatation of the ureter and uh, the lateral part of the nodule is estimated at uh, few, uh, around six, seven millimeters from the ureter. We have to Dr. Lazzarini, a uh, good trend Ellenburg, and uh, Marina Coppola, she's, el now. she's helping me on my right side, and Alessia and the manipulator. She, Alessia, is she starting to put the Valchev uterine manipulator and uh, Barbara the nurse uh, and the Ilaria and Gaetano the other nurse. So, thanks to Technomedit, so Vincenzo De Masi company for the connection and for the platform and to Oliro Padice, the other technicians that works today with us in operative room. So uh, we can say that at the level of the, the bowel, uh, there is a nodule at uh, 12 centimeters from the anal verge. Uh, that is four centimeters of craniocardial sites and uh, eight millimeter of infiltration in the muscularis uh, and 13 millimeter is the transversal sites. The estimated stenosis, it's uh, less than 50%, but with many symptoms for the patient. So, like usually, we perform this um, evaluation with the, the hashtag Ensign score new classification of 2021. And uh, so you know that the P is uh, an evaluation only by surgery, not by ultrasound, but the Hashtag Ensign U for ultrasound evaluation show us uh, this kind of score. Uh, o is two on the left because it's a little bit bigger than three centimeters uh, and one on the right side. T are T three and three because at ultrasound was evaluated some additions uh, between the pelvic side wall, the uterus, the bowel and the uterosacral ligaments. A compartment is uh, uh, evaluated with the score A2 because the nodule at the level of the retrocervical area 
is uh, between one and three centimeters. Uh, B is two on the left parameter, two on the right parameter, and uh, C is three because the nodule is bigger than three centimeters in the rectum, 12 centimeters from the anal verge, FA, because there is an infiltration of adenomyosis. So, the last uh, um, uh, yes, slides show us the, uh, our planning. So we, we plan, we plan and we plan a surgery of excision, uh, radical excision of endometriosis uh, with the segmental bar resection because the nodule is bigger than three, is deeper than seven millimeter and uh, if needed bilateral or monolateral salpingectomy and the use of DOD laser to treat the small ovarian endometrioma and avoid excision of the capsula in order to reduce the risk of damage and compromission of ovarian function because she has no pregnancy before. And so now we, you can see the picture inside. You see that the uterus is small with adenomyosis inside and uh, the movement of the manipulator the is very, very, okay, it's the movement is uh, reduced for the presence of posterior additions with the total obliteration of the patch of the Douglas. So on the left, we put the first uh, traditional uh, five millimeter trocar on the under the ombilicus uh, we put in the middle the second trocar another one another five and the third on the side of marina and marina put inside uh, the third five millimeter trocar and we can start to to work so the position of the uterus is important pay attention uh, so I ask to Alessia to s be safe at the level of the anterior wall of the uterus in order to avoid the perforation of the uterus. So good anteversion, but not so. So we are working today with uh, the 3D 4K camera. Mm -hmm. And starting on the left. Okay. Uh, we will use we will use today the Sony Session technique uh, technology. Sorry. Um, okay. The ultrasound technique from Metronic. Uh, that is very good in the preparation, uh, especially at the level of the bowel. Uh, and uh, we will perform uh, a part of the surgery with this uh, technology. For the moment, I am only starting to free the left part here between the external iliac vessel and uh, the descendant colon and the sigmoid here. And then you see that with this tension on the on the bowel, uh, Marina pull medially and increase the tension between uh, all the structure that we want to to see and to prepare for this kind of surgery. So, we work now here to free again uh, this area. And uh, like usually you can uh, ask me some question if you want by chat. And we are able to to give you an uh, an answer during the the surgery so on the left is better to free again and better this part at the level of the 
sauce, Muscle. And so that is and colon. Uh, we can free it and we can work with uh, this instrument. This is a wireless instrument, no cable, and this is very good. And uh, the ergonomy is perfect, and we go very fast. You see that these instruments, if you use and push all the button until the end, you are fast in this kind of preparation going here. So, going here you see that in a very few, few movement, you arrive at the level of the ureter. So, now it's very important the tension that we have between the tissue. So, going in this direction here, we can open the so called middle parietal space and to arrive better on the canal part of the middle parietal space we got to free this part of tissue here and here So now, here we can start to work. So I can feel the promontorium. Okay. Here. I can understand the right entry over there. And with this movement, we arrive at the level of the hypogastric nerve. And going immediately, pushing gentle, very gentle, the, the nerve and the presacral fascia laterally, I can open the middle parietal space. Then, this is the position and uh, the good traction and tension between uh, the two parts of the structure that help us to open again this and to see better and better the direction of the nerves and the presacral fascia here to the mande. Okay, let me attimo l'aspiratore. You see, this kind of movement help us very well to to free here, and when we free, we increase the movement of the uterus, and so you will see that in a few minutes uh, the movement uh, of the manipulator will be totally different and so on the left I can use aspiration to to see better and the direction of the preparation of the bowel start from the lateral side and go then medially. So, 
here is very clear the anatomy and here I can free better the uterus and this part of the bowel okay so again thanks today to the Medtronic company for the cooperation and uh, scientific cooperation of today so this is the position okay so thanks for the first question that arrives uh, on the chat uh, and is regarding uh, the um, preparation of the bowel we do the mechanical preparation starting uh, uh, the day before surgery and uh, and we perform another preparation uh, uh, with the liquid inside the bowel at the moment of the surgery in order to remove all the small part uh, inside the bowel uh, because usually we perform the nose technique the new nose technique for bowel section so we need uh, a very perfect uh, bowel with no residual part inside and now we are at the level uh, of the superior hypogastric plexus and uh, on the promontorium over here and you see from the right side the left hypogastric nerves here and I stayed in the middle so posteriorly to the posteriorly to the rectum preparing the retrorectal space then we go again on the right pushing laterally the tissue and so the the right hypogastric nerves and we start again Uh, thanks. Another question from Mohamed Gaber uh, about, about the use uh, and uh, for how long we can use the Dynagest in treatment of this case of uh, endometriosis. Uh, so we can use uh, for uh, long uh, periods the, the medical treatment with Dynagest. In my experience, uh, after two years in young women, uh, they start with side effects regarding the the level of uh, estrogens so uh, I prefer to change the medical treatment after two years of continuous treatment with Dienagest so in my opinion until two years uh, you have usually no no problems uh, no great problems uh, with the, the, this kind of uh, long-term therapy and so now we are arriving in a very good anatomical area uh, laterally to in the right middle parietal space and so going in this direction I, my friend Pranay, our friend Pranay from India, uh, he write to us on the chat, and so he say greetings to all the people in Avellino, and uh, I miss being in Avellino, and regards to the entire team, so thanks, thanks from the entire team. Okay, so now, uh, posteriorly, we had a good preparation and we can go a, a little bit posteriorly again in the retrorectal area. 
and this is important to free better the the rectum uh, and then uh, we have to go in the middle in the middle i prefer to go with by with scissor with scissor because i have to cut exactly in the middle and i want to reduce the uh, and it, it's in my opinion better to do this job with uh, with scissor un poco al centro. So you see that Marina Marina push the the bubble down and I'm increasing the activation of the uterus with my bipolar And we are going exactly in the middle of the nodule, in the retrocervical nodule that is attached to the area of infiltration of the bubble. So, mm -hmm. I control the bleeding now here from the posterior wall of the uterus and we are at the level of the nodule inside the bubble so perfect i see very well the the right plane here and cutting this uh, fibrotic bridge here we have a good usually a good movement you see of the rectum and this is the entry in the lateral part of the rectovaginal septum and again on the left side, the same. So going here, we free laterally. And then this is the part where the nodule is totally attached to the retrocervical area and to the cranial part of the vagina. Uh, she has no infiltration of the vagina Vagina is free, uh, only the, the fornix is uh, with the partial infiltration. And this is the infiltration in the most caudal part. And so I clean the, the camera, the scope. And again, now, probably now we have more movement of the uterus. We put in a correct position the tip of the manipulator, like this. And I can understand better the, the direction of my here entry in the rectovaginal plane. So. So the strategy is very clear. So we go exactly in the middle of the nodule and we leave a part of the nodule attached to the cervix at the part of the nodule you see attached to the bowel. When you arrive in the right plane here and you go over the nodule, you open all the avascular plane here of the rectovaginal space and then you are in the very good right plane and free again the rectum and all the bowel that go up with uh, and increase the movement and you can uh, increase you see and at here you can check better the nodule so i can feel the nodule that is uh, this big plaque here that is around four centimeters and we know that the infiltration is uh, deep in the muscularis so uh, in our opinion uh, uh, the evaluation of infiltration is absolutely better with the good imaging than 
during uh, laparoscopy because during uh, the surgery uh, it's not possible to evaluate uh, exactly the, the grade and the millimeter of infiltration but you know that with the skillet ultrasound or MRI imaging uh, you can evaluate very well these uh, these parameters and so with the very precise indication to treatment so shaving if possible discoids for small nodule with deep infiltration more than seven or segmental resection for big nodule infiltrating uh, in the deeper part, the muscularis. So this kind of uh, resection here laterally increase the movement of the rectum and so reduce the risk of tension on the anastomosis. Uh, lymph nodes here, inflammatory lymph nodes. And so, I can say that, that this preparation for the moment is very good. Posteriorly, okay. And now we can uh, work again with uh, sonicization because sonicization here is very good for the section of the fat tissue and the meso on, on the rectum here. So uh, I have to evaluate the, the line of our resection here. And so I want to resect here, okay? And so I have to prepare here the fat tissue and you see that Marina helped me uh, increasing the tension okay this is the position of the rectum for this kind of preparation of the at the level here of the fat tissue these instruments is uh, mandatory uh, because you it's very safe than bipolar here and you can arrive at cirrusa with no problem and again on the contralateral part you see you can use the this slow resection that increase the coagulation of the vessel like this if I push not so much like this I go to coagulate the small vessel and if I push more I go faster and cut Okay, so here is, is good preparation here, and now we need to complete anteriorly and then control the bleeding there, and then uh, probably you are ready. Okay. Aspiratore? Ok, si è sganciato. Sì, sì. Mm -hmm. Entra un poco poco qua. Sì, 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 cambia, cambia. Sì, 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 sì. Un secondo solamente mi faccio queste mosse, se poi ci fermiamo un attimo e cambiamo tutto. E nel frattempo dobbiamo pulire un po' l'intestino. Meglio, eh. Non c'è stato tempo di farlo prima.
fammi vedere dove siamo con la parte della recensione ok andiamo di qua di qua ah. mm -hmm. Allora, qua l'avevamo preparata, qua l'ho già fatta, qua davanti un pochino, vabbè però qua davanti, mentre ci siamo, dai. va bene, qua ci siamo, qua ci siamo, qua ci siamo, forse solo dietro un poco 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 e poi basta, sì, solamente là. Ok, we can finish posteriorly with some decision here. This small part here. Ok. Vediamo un poco. Ok, now is perfect the preparation posteriorly. It's really perfect here, and here it's okay. So, I think it's enough, the preparation here. I think it's, it's good. Okay, so now, uh, usually we do this kind of... Uh, uh, bowel cleaning with uh, fluid inside the rectum uh, at the same time we close the cranial part of the uh, the sigmoid the, the Shannon colon okay so Mohammed Gaber uh, asked to uh, to me and to us, uh, what are the criteria and uh, limits uh, and uh, indication for discoid or resection uh, or segmental bowel resection? I explain uh, in the past many times and today, so are very clear and we published uh, around uh, three years ago our specific indication that are based uh, on uh, the craniocaudal sites of the nodule, the number of the nodule, the transversal sites, and the infiltration of the uh, muscularis. So, all the nodules uh, bigger than 3 cm with infiltration more than 7 mm are candidates to segmental bowel resection. All the nodules uh, with the craniocaudal sites uh, less than 3 cm with uh, infiltration more than 7 mm can have a good discoid resection and all the nodule with uh, infiltration less than 7 mm can do shaving. So you can do shaving also for big nodule of uh, 6, 7 cm uh, with a superficial infiltration less than 7. So these are in my opinion, in our opinion, a very good indication that you can uh, have uh, only with a very good ima imaging. And if you have a good imaging with these kind of uh, sites, you can plan your surgery before and you can, in my opinion, reduce the percentage of bowel resection, increasing the percentage of conservative treatment with shaving. So usually we do this kind of, uh, you can, we can say, cleaning of uh, uh, the internal part of the last tract of the bowel. Uh, we do it usually uh, at the beginning of the surgery, uh, but today we was very late <laughs> in time, so we started with surgery, and so we can go now. So I'm injecting fluid inside the rectum, Marina, close this part of the rectum and again fluid and uh, we can say like a washing inside the rectum with the rectal probe again to remove all the residual part inside but usually the residual part are very 
small and few because with a good preparation and you can you can you can see that the liquid it's really clear totally the water is totally white so the residual part is i think perfect so okay so seems to be perfect so now we go to cut the the rectum you know we we started with the new technique and we published our technique uh, one and a half year ago in the sp spring of uh, 2021 so from one and a half year we uh, changed our technique from uh, passing from the traditional technique of bowel resection with uh, small uh, mini laparotomy at the level of the sovrapubic area and we changed completely uh, moving to a uh, technique so-called nose nose stay for natural or if it's specimen extraction it means that we use the rectum to remove the segmental part of the rectum and then we use the the rectum to introduce the Ambil to perform the and to lateral reanastomosis. So, with circular separate, transnasal circular separate. So, uh, at this level, we have to cut the rectum. So, I don't use now the stapler. We will use later the Signa from Medtronic. It is the robotic uh, robotic. Uh, uh, mechanical stapler that I will show you in a few few minutes but for the moment what I have to do I have to cut completely here with sonicision so I arrive with sonicision at the level of the cirrhosa and I cut completely here so I remove the fat tissue again and I understand that the area where I have, where fi because the, the superficial part of the nodule finish here, and I can start here to cut. Now I go inside the rectum, cutting completely all the cirrhosa and the uh, the muscularis of the rectum, opening the rectum here, you are opening the rectum, you see the mucosa, and we go inside the rectum. Now you see that Marina pull up the anterior wall of the rectum, so I can go in the good direction on the posterior angle of the rectum here and so we mm, started one and a half year ago with this uh, new technique and then we perform in the last year and a half, all the segmental bowel resection, so 100% of bowel resection was with this technique, so no more mini laparotomy. And so now we check the distance and uh, how the, uh, the movement of the rectum that go very good, very low. And so the nodule and the bit. No, no, this is Come stai? Come stai? Come stai? Come stai? Come stai? Ah, così? No, così, perché mi vede meglio. Ok, scusa. Ok, because... Uh, ok, this is the... the last 
part, superficial, so I can cut here. Push it. I asked to Barbara to clean the, the, okay, the terminal part of the sorry session. And so we can work here. And cutting here, we, we are in a safe area. We are sure that that we are in a, in a normal tissue with no disease. So you see, here we can free, complete, and now I, I am inside the rectum here and here. Cutting the rectum completely. Now, in a few minutes, we can remove the rectum resected through the rectum itself. And another, another advantage of this technique is not only to avoid the mini laparotomy, uh, so it means uh, uh, best compliance for the patients, uh, uh, cosmetic results, uh, and uh, time of recovery, and so and so, but uh, the, uh, we don't need to, to free too much the vascularis to cut the vascularization in the posterior part of the cranial part of the rectum. So we preserve the vascularization here. And uh, this is, in my opinion, uh, uh, the reason for uh, uh, an important redu reduction of the complication rate of this kind of surgery. So now we go through the rectum in order to remove the, this part of it. I go with these instruments inside the rectum. And you see that the rectum go out through the rectum itself. Dopo, questa qual è? Allora, questa va 31. Ma così va. Non lo so perché ci hai messo il trocarino. No, no, perché? Ma non così, io lo sfondi. Sì, ma non così come l'ha messa prima. No, così? Così, sì, così. Così, ma tu me l'hai infilato tutto dentro. Così, Barbara. Me l'hai infilato qua. Vedi un po' così, va bene, non l'abbiamo rotto. Perché l'ha infilato tutto dentro, si è allargato. Cambia l'abbia. Ma no, ma si basta. Non te l'hai infilato tutto, se lo infili tutto si dilata, sì. Si si allarga. Sì, certo. Hai capito, Barbara? Ho capito. Eh. Uh, we use the, the tip, so the, the anvil of the... Che numero mi hai dato? 21. Ma più piccolo non ce l'hai? No. Of the... Mm, eh, sì. Ce l'hai? Eh, sì, però lo devo chiedere. Non è Barbara. No, no, questa qua è piccola, vedi, vedi che poi rimane qua, tu l'hai infilata dentro. Ok. Sì, sì, no, non è, sì, sì. Eh, ma è perché è grande qua, capisci? Figure, sì, sì. Ok. Uh, I ask for uh, 29 sites of a circular sepler. It's a... Uh, Vabbè. It's a three-line uh, stepper. Uh, for the moment, it's the only three-line stepper, very safe uh, on the market. So, 29. Uh, okay, now I am uh, going inside the rectum, pushing inside the rectum uh, the, the anvil. So, 
the arm will go inside so okay and the uterus stay up Non me la pinza. Non so qua. Dovremmo cambiare il trocar. La pinza, sì, ma la pinza ce l'hai? Sì. L'hai presa? Dove sta? Bra. Così. Ok, now we have to change the right trocar passing from a five, là, là, from a five to a twelve because uh, to use the signa stepper the automatic uh, robotic one we need a uh, 12 so 12 trocar inside we can uh, cuff the, the small balloon here with air and so we can fix better to the abdominal wall the right 12 millimeter trocar then we clean the scope and then we we show you the signal. Okay, this is the, the wonderful stapler. This is the name, signal. And this is totally uh, automatic with this robotic movement, so I can push up and down here, lateral on the right and on the left, and I can rotate here, right and left. So these are the automatic movement that I can do. On, on this side, you see, or in the other part. You see the movement? Then I come back in the normal position. I can open like this and I can close like this. Then I can rotate like this or like this. These are the three possibility of movement. So, okay. Now, we have to put here okay and we use this kind of instruments this instrument to catch the anvil And then we go up and we have to go inside. Uh, this is the good level here. So, okay, so Barbara, uh, help me with this monopolar hook just an a small No, 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 no. A prima un po' qua. Prendi al posto mio. Grazie. Eh, perfetto. Eh, così faccio una trazione, se no se non faccio la trazione. Ecco qua. Ok. Allora, change the position for a good traction from here. Like this. 
Ok, molla un attimo. Se mi tieni tu un attimo questo qua, stenzione, fa sì. Se tieni una con questo qua così, dammi un'altra pinza al centro. Ok. And now we go inside to put this inside like this. Sometimes it's not so easy this part. In this case we go like aspetta, faccio, faccio, tu rimane ferma perché è più facile, capito? Non ti muovere, non ti, non ti muovere. <ride> ok. Ok, this is the movement. And now we, we can close here. To close I have to to catch together these two parts and the angle here. Okay, so now we can remove this one and we can entry with the, the stopper. Entra tu verso... No, tu sollevala. No, no, Marina, no. Lascia, la, la, lasciami, vai. E tu che devi stare là, solleva, solleva, solleva. Non sono contesto. è andata? Dove è andata? Ora. Chiamala. Vieni qua, vieni qua, dopo ci sono, ci... vieni qua, vieni qua. Questo? Sì. Spara. Ok, adesso verso il basso. Così? Sì, come la chiude, come la chiude. Ok. Bene, dimmi. Uh, yes, there is another question from uh, Minea Gangal. She asked uh, about uh, nose technique, if uh, it's possible to use a shooter around the anvil 
like Vulok uh, instead of the linear stopper. Yes, you can use it, uh, but it's uh, the old technique similar to the open technique. Uh, and with this technique, uh, the risk of the descent is lower because there is no shooter. And in this point, you see, you are uh, mm, completely safe because you have a small hole uh, passing uh, through this part. And this, uh, here, you are very safe for linear supper. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's absolutely more safe, this technique. So uh, I, I, I think that... Uh, that uh, this uh, uh, technique is absolutely better than uh, a shoe tour uh, around the anvil. Um, because mm, the question is uh, uh, to save a few centimeters of the rectum, especially in the lower section. Uh, but uh, you... Mm, you don't sacrifice rectum here. The problem of the lower section could be here, but here you cannot use uh, a, a shooter. You, you need absolutely another uh, linear stopper. So now we control here the bleeding. So the use of uh, irrigation and uh, tip coagulation with bike clamp is the best solution to control, to check and control the bleeding here. And the bleeding is uh, over there, posterior, you see? So now Marina pull up this part and I can control bled the bleeding better. So about the next appointment of our uh, platform, uh, we have the last appointment in December and then we stop this appointment for the first part of the next year because we are all concentrated to the big event in May in Roma and so no more uh, uh, live transmission until uh, May and we will start with the platform uh, in September of the next year. So I invite uh, everyone to attend to this uh, incredible meeting of four days uh, in conjunction with AGL, American Association and Society, and uh, European Society together for these uh, four days uh, event uh, focus uh, not only on endometriosis but on, uh, on the benign disease uh, oncology and different techniques performed from laparoscopy to robotic hysteroscopy, VU notes. Okay, now we have to close there. Yeah. We are very low but uh, we have no alternative, so probably we need the two stapler. We start with the first one. Era 45, brava. Brava. Eh no, perfect. It's, it's, it's 45. 45 is better because uh, we have a very few space here. Ok, prendete l'angolo adesso, io vedo il sinistro, senza strappare l'unica cosa, ok. Uh, this movement is important, so the idea is to go inside, you see the spice, is very, very few spice, but, but now I probably can rotate a little bit. Ok, the idea is... Very well. Uh, 
Uh, this movement, robotic movement, is perfect v v with this uh, uh, few space. So I start now and I can close and then I need another one, 45, to close the left angle. Pardon? Ready to close. You see the movement cutting here. Then I can open again. It come back and I am ready to open like this. Then I go out. I come back in the normal position. I close and I go out. Okay. A second one to to complete it to finish. Okay. Okay, just to perform this final part here. Closing the then we are ready to use the circular for anastomosis. And you see that when you have very uh, limited space for the movement, this kind of instruments, it's very, very, very useful. So I can go there. So my strategy could be, first of all, to open, then to rotate, rotate and close perfect i try to go inside better and close then i check the this final part i think is really perfect so i push the red button and in few seconds we are ready to close and to open. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so now Okay, we are really satisfied from this uh, stapler. And another finish with sense. Okay. Usually we do at the end uh, the evaluation or oh, with the uh, Anderson in green uh, using the the 4K 3D scope Rubina camera from Carl Storz to check the vascularization at the level of the anastomosis and if needed at the level of the of the ureter so we can remove this part uno alla volta devo dire sì aspetta eh, questo qua lo puoi mettere da sé lui te lo, te lo metti così si entra così e così aspetta Now, before to complete the anastomosis, we have to perform here all the <coughs> the last part of the surgery. So we have to start from the ureter here. 
We free the ureter, starting the ureterolysis. You remember that uh, at ultrasound evaluation was that on the left side, the lateral part of the parametrial infiltration of the nodule in the left parametria arrived few millimeters from the ureter with no dilatation of the ureter. So this is another very important evaluation that we need to, to explain to patients the kind of surgeon, the risk of complication. So the okay, the consensus and the Spencer. Uh, needs all the precise information regarding the extension of the disease. So. The idea to have a very precise classification of the disease before to arrive in operative room, it's, uh, it's perfect for the treatment of these patients. And it was, uh, we believe in the past that it was not possible but now we know from uh, uh, the first data in literature that okay, the accuracy of our evaluation is uh, very, very, very high. So you see, we are at the level of the tissue around around the ureter, close to the ureter. Here, the ureter is free, you see, but we need to remove this part. And so to remove this part, we have to uh, check the hypogastric nerves here. So this is very nice case because in the same surgery, you have nose technique, you have dissection of the retroperitoneum, anatomy of the retroperitoneum, you have uh, ureterolysis, you have uh, neurolysis with uh, tentative of nerve sparing on the hypogastric nerve, and you have uh, laser treatment on the, on the ovary. So. And we c you see very well all the small branches in the neural part of the dorsal parametria. So we can, of course, cut the, the branch that go in the uterus, preserving the dorsal part of the posterior parameter over there. So, superficially here. And here. The tension of manipulator is the most important movement that we need. The direction of the ureter is very clear. 
you see and removing this small part here we arrive in the totally good area no disease okay and we are this is important because we are um, we reduce the tension here on the tissue and so we increased all the movement you see in, of the uterus and here okay perfect we are at the level of the uterine vessel over the uterine artery and the ureter that pass here and it's the entry in the left tunnel in the in the parametria nice no more disease here and so you see all the neural parts of the dorsal parametria we stay here close to the middle part of the uterosacral ligament okay and now we can remove Perfecto. This plaque. And now you see that the movement of the uterus is now is totally different and we can uh, increase the antiversion like this and change completely the our visualization here. Okay, and we can work on the uterovarian ligament, on the plaque, posteriorly arriving close to vaginal wall. Preserving all the vessel of parametria here and then here I say now in inside the adenomyotic nodule of the posterior wall of the cervix that probably is the origin of the this disease the exter adenomyosis external adenomyosis Remember the ultrasound evaluation that shows us uh, a transversal diameter of this plaque at least of three centimeters from one side to another side, more closer to the left ureter. Okay, now we hot water to clean the scope and start again to remove the posterior nodule. No,
You are close to the level of the vagina, very close. The nodule arrive at the level of the fornix, no infiltration probably of the mucosa. With the speculum vision, there is no infiltration, but we, at the exploration, we can, uh, you can feel the nodule. So probably we will open the vagina here. It's probably we arrive in the vagina because it arrives in the muscularis of the vagina. dentro no you know mm -hmm. okay this is another uh, cystic part of adenomyotic nodule and so we need to to clean the scissor and then to check better the vagina like this so the position of the manipulator it's the most important thing così ti prego non lo mollare ok if you push very well the vagina you can understand better. You see the vagina and you understand better and you can probably avoid to open the vagina. But the nodule arrive very close, you see. You see, but now you are inside the vagina. Because the nodule arrive in, in the vagina. So here it's open the vagina here. So we... We open again here. Molampo. Okay, now we can put in the vagina the nodule like this. We do give me that like this in vagina. Okay. Okay, now we use the Vulok to close the, the vagina. You know that the Vulok is the barbed shooter. Uh, that uh, self-blocked shooter. And so we we are using to zero. Si. We are using uh, two zero sides, and we go inside with Vulok. Then we start to close the vagina. Okay, so. No, 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 Okay, so starting from the posterior, we, we start, we try to close very fast the vagina be, so to avoid the loss of, the loss of uh, gas. So the technique is very easy uh, 
starting from here, from the angle, uh, the first is coming back a little bit to close better the first part and then go in the direction of the here. And here. And again, here, the angle and dip with needle in order to to catch more tissue to close better the vagina. Vedi un attimo bene, se no non fa mite, fa mite. Vedete perché? Mi fai vedere un attimo, scusa. Eh, perché se no vado nei vasi, capito? Eh. I think that no. The, um, okay, so Anton Matthew uh, asked me if I'm using a rectal probe. Uh, uh, sorry, a vaginal probe to excision of the vaginal part of the nodule. No, I. I think that uh, we usually don't need the vaginal probe because we have uh, the manipulator for the exposition of the vaginal fornix. Sometimes you can, uh, you can put your finger to understand better the posterior fornix. <laughs> but in this case, the infiltration was very few millimeter in the mucosa. All the nodule was in the muscularis of the vagina. So. We close the vagina, now the pneumoperitoneum is perfect. We are working with 14. And so now the pressure is inside 14, 15, so it's okay. And again, go inside to, to check this area. So. I think that we did a very good job on the left because all the parameter, lateral and dorsal parameter was removed. The neural part is preserved. The inferior hypogastric plexus is totally preserved. The hypogastric nerve, of course. questo dedalo di fili, me ne toglie un attimo Io, sicuramente molto meglio no, questo se la sono accumulato qua ok, so now uh, I think that we have to, to work a little bit laterally here just to check the ovary And then we can go with the laser to treat the small endometrioma. But ovary, we have to free the right and the left ovary. And so here it's okay. Small endometrioma is here inside. We have to check the tube with the blue, the vascularization with the Anderson in green uh, technique. And before we have to complete here the right side. So to the right side we need to to feed the ovary that is totally attached here and remove probably the right peritoneum here. So, the idea could be, first of all, to, 
to free the ovary here. Okay. Removing these additions on the ovarian uh, fossa. Okay, functional cyst here, and we try to Mira Okay, push un po'. Okay, this is all the inflammatory part of the endometriotic uh, disease at the level of the ovary, at the level of the peritoneum and the superficial uh, part of uh, the ovary and here. So, this is all the inflammatory part and... Franco. Uh, Okay. Very, very well. Again, the final part of the surgery is to check the right ureter. Again. Try to do it like this. If possible, if not, we put a T lift. Mm. Probably a T lift is better to put laterally the ovary. Uh, I can free the ovary from tubes here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And T lift. Okay, T lift on the ovary. Uh, pay attention to the vessel superficial and uh, in the here, in the abdominal wall, and then with the needle, percutaneous needle, we go to. We go inside the ovary, then we go outside with the T-lift system, out with needle, the tube stay laterally to the ovary, and we fix on the abdominal wall the right ovary. Fixing the ovary, we have more space and movement is better to start the right ureterolysis. The, the ureter is over there, it's very clear. Sometimes you can start at the beginning of the surgery with the ure ureterolysis. Uh, we avoid at the beginning of the ureterolysis because uh, I thought there was no, no, disease, no disease on the right, so... But now it's better to to do this. Okay. Okay, stay here. Uh -huh.
Okay, the units are go down. Brace, brace. Perfect. Okay. And yes, perfect. All the anatomy is very clear. The uterine vessel, and uh, we can do the same superficial work. Very superficial work here. I try to stay. Yes, no more. Huh? See, see. You thought you lost? Okay, so na the idea now is if we can do it to starting from here. Uh, facciamo così. Così e così. Riscaldiamo. <coughs> ok, the idea is to finish the surgery removing this part of the peritoneum. Uh, then we use the laser on the ovary and we finish with the anastomosis and the control of the tube. If you stay in the good plane here, we probably can remove all the peritoneum here. There is only a superficial infiltration, superficial disease. No, se mi tieni su qua, mi prendo io, non so qua. Un po' così. Tu hai l'aspiratore? Por vicino. in alto, in alto, che non vado solo lui, in alto, in alto. In alto. No, 
No, no, fammi vedere bene, scusami, se no non, non, non mi piace, allontanate un po'. Dopo ci andiamo, metti un po'. Mm-hmm. Aspiradora. Okay. Mi tieni così in alto. Butterine sotto. Ok. Ok, uh, all this tissue infiltrating here the lateral parametria. So it arrives at the level of the uterine artery. So all this part we have to remove so this is a lateral parametriectomy with this part of lateral infiltration and it's arrived at the level of the suckle root here
Comme ça, n'importe. Uh, the removing of this tissue is very important because this tissue arrives here at the level of the emergence of the sacral root, the neural part, S, S4, S3, S4 here. And so we have to remove this last part of uh, infiltration. So. So this is uh, an uh, I isolated uh, lateral parametrial nodule. And here. OK. Ok, questo è da una parte, se poi dopo togli la spesa. Vai. Sì, sì, ora ci parliamo. Grazie. Questo lo dà come nodulo parametro laterale destro. Ok, nodulo del parametro laterale di destra. Quindi, so, l'ombelica vescicale è qui. All the neural part of the dorsal parameter is preserved here and with the mesoureter and the ureter, the uterine artery too, and we removed the isolated nodule here going in the deeper part. They are of the pudendal nerve that is over there. Okay, so the superior hypogastric plexus preserved with the two branches of the hypogastric nerves. The left lateral and dorsal uh, parametrectomy was performed with, uh, you see, a total nerve sparing of the neural part here. We cut only the small uh, branches of the nerves uh, arriving in the uterus, in the vagina removing the, the vaginal nodule and the retrocervical and parametrial nodule. And now we have only to treat with laser the small endometrioma. Uh, we have very two small, uh, that just to show you the, the laser technique. Then we uh, do the reanastomosis uh, uh, with the circular stapler. So, technique is very simple. We open the endometrioma and no excision of the capsule. Only clean inside. Small coagulation laterally. And then, uh, and then laser on the, for the vaporization of the capsule. And we, we know that, that the, in lecturature the results of uh, laser coagulation uh, uh, CO2 or uh, diode uh, are very good in terms of recurrence and in terms of uh, damage for ovarian tissue if compared with excision. We have two big study um, prospective study from uh, Francisco Carmona and from uh, Massimo Candiani in the last 10 years that show very good results with uh, uh, in terms of uh, um, antral follicular count 
and in terms of uh, anti Mueller and hormone evaluation before and after surgery, and in terms of recurrence. In the study of Carmona, the recurrence rate after uh, uh, laser treatment was uh, a little bit higher than uh, in the group uh, of uh, uh, excision of the capsule in the first uh, 18 months, uh, but after uh, 60 months, uh, there are no significantly difference in the two groups. So it means that in terms of recurrence, seems to be very good the treatment with the, with the laser. So now we are using the laser. Uh, it's very simple. You know that the laser, we can decide how deep has to work. And uh, we did a setting of 0 0.2 millimeter. And so you can treat the, the internal part or you can treat the superficial part. Okay, then we go on the other side. Just a uh, uh, few days ago, just one week ago, we, we had the publication of uh, our new paper. Uh, uh, we are very proud because uh, we had this publication uh, uh, with the other two international uh, main center for treatment of endometriosis. Uh, it's a multidisciplinary um, retrospective study on evaluation of the new classification of AGL uh, with the use of preoperative ultrasound evaluation. So preoperative staging with the new classification of AGL uh, comparing with the surgical staging of the new 2021 classification of AGL. And uh, three, three main centers, uh, our center in Avellino, the center of uh, Maurizio Abrao in Brazil and the center of Francisco Carmona in uh, Valencia, eh, sorry, in uh, Barcelona, Spain. And so with very good results. So from now, we are able to start to classify and to stage with AGL classification by ultras ultrasound in the referral center. So not only the preoperative classification uh, with Dentian, but with uh, uh, AGL2. And remembering that AGL classification, the new one of 2021, is uh, uh, based on the difficult of the surgery, uh, four stages. But are four stages totally different compared with the, the old uh, 1996 classification of the American Society of, the, of Infertility. Uh -huh. Few months ago, she had another small endometrioma on the right side, probably for the treatment with the Dynagest. She's under Dynagest from many months, so probably uh, there was a small reduction but at the moment or is, there was only the the small lesions that we treat at the beginning and then with the laser so I think it's okay and uh, we can uh, start with uh, reanastomosis
Okay, now removing the the anvil. Togli un po' questi pezzi, ce la fai a farli uscire? No, il sacchetto che non No, penso, di, penso che piano piano ce la fa, prendere in punta, ce la dovresti fare. Ah, eh, ok. Uno. E due. Se mi dai quella bella pinza di prima, proviamo un attimo a toglierla. Eh. Tirate una. Eh, tirate un po' giù, in pelvi. Sì, 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 sì. Eh. Eh, se lo riesci a lasciare un attimo là. Dammi una pinza al centro, così la posso tenere, se no quello risale, risale ogni volta sopra. Uh -huh. Aspetta un attimo. Ok. Io me lo tengo. Aspetta un attimo, aspetta un attimo. Aspetta un attimo. Non ti preoccupare. Prendi un attimo tu, piano piano lo porto in pelvi, io poi mi, eh, ti aiuto così. Allora, mi dai a destra la pinza per rimuovere la testina, vai. Attenzione. Tenga. Va bene, vediamo un attimo solo se tutto a posto qua. Prendere un attimo, fammi vedere, se senza schiacciarla fammi vedere quanto... No, secondo me va benissimo. Sì, tira un po' così. Ce l'hai? Questo è tu, andiamo giù. And again, eh, puliamo, questo lo togliamo, now we usually check the distance from the anal verge of our section and to check we use the uh, Rectal probe. <laughs> like this is the rectal probe just to check the, the distance. We go in the rectum, right dentro, and then. Okay. Quando siamo qua? 11, 11, 7, 9, 9. Ok, we are at 9 centimeters, 9, 10 centimeters from anal verge, so... Così. Tieni così. Un po' l'aspiratore, ce la fai a usarlo? O ti incasini? Eh no, perché sennò non posso. Eh sì, vabbè, lascialo lasciando qua. Mm. Dobbiamo un attimo metterti in posizione così. Cioè... Eccolo qua. Ci andiamo un po' verso destra. Se mi abbasso, ecco qua, bravo, se mi abbasso un po' questo cellulare, io così vado benissimo. Perfetto. Perfetto e perfetto. Ok, ci sono. Ok. So, good position of the anvil. Ok. Now she, Marina, ok, move like this. Good. No no tension and so io sposto un po' la tuba perfetto alzate un po' il cellulare posteriormente ok now we eh, più che altro da sotto la metti la bacchetta dietro bravissimo 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 io qua sto bene fai davanti ok I think that we can go
we check the ring and we check the integrity of the anastomosis uh, with uh, first with air and then with the bubble test and then with the blue so irrigation in the pelvis pushing on the rectum I go inside no bubble no bubble and let me see the I'm injecting high pressure of blue of methylene inside the rectum and no no outside okay and I will show you the two rings of the you see the two rings that show us that uh, the resection is uh, complete okay Then we go to check the tubes and uh, it's better to do the endoscene in green test and then of the vascularization. So, see, I ask to Jenny, the nurse, and uh, Dr. Lazzarini to inject the endoscene in green in intravenous <coughs> no, questa cosa è nuova perché questo capello l'ho modificato adesso l'ho messo direttamente che va ecco qua se tieni premuto direttamente passa e va alle varie cose capito? non deve andare più sul menu ok, so and the in green go very quickly at the level of the pelvis and show us all the situation in the lateral parameter the ureter is very well vascularized and uh, check on the left the left ureter the same is perfect and now we go on the resection line so it's important the angle Good. Tommy, did not do me, yes, Susan. Papa, look at it. Il cellulare lasso sicuramente l'ha chiappato qua. No, che era bassa. E eh, vabbè, guarda perché era bassa. E togli un po' questo qua, l'indocianina. Ok. C'è So another possibility is to change from overlay position to monochromatic one. Oh, this is monochromatic, you see, and uh, the vision is perfect uh, and probably is absolutely better to check the anastomosis with uh, uh, monochromatic and the same of the ureter, left and right sides. So Okay. We change in the normal vision. Check the tube. Okay, all the surgeries was uh, performed using the machine of uh, VIO3. This was the setting on the bike clamp, or oh, setting is two on the small pedal like this. 
and the monopolar, if you go on the monopolar, we work it with precise sect uh, coagulation, monopolar coagulation mode setting at 5.5 and high cut is setting 4.5. If we switch here, we can use the bipolar uh, setting on 5.5 with the normal bipolar. And again, the, the last part of the surgery, checking of the tubes with the blue of methylene inside. So I asked to, by Alessia to inject the blue in the uterus and the tube. Okay. So probably we have to move a little bit like this. Try now. We try again. Okay, now we have to change the manipulator. We have to use a different manipulator for this kind of checking. But uh, it's okay. Uh, Okay, so we finished. We are waiting for the new manipulator, but uh, uh, we can s stop the the life of today. So the next appointment in December, and uh, so thank you so much to all of you for your presence and attention, and uh, see you the next month. And a good, uh, good evening to everybody. And see you the next month. Bye-bye.